Welcome everyone to my new lecture. Today we are going to start uh, learning about al alternating currents. That's some kind. Of, that, this is a new chapter in my open course. So direct current always has the same inten intensity and its direct and its direction is always the same. So you, you, you know, till now we learn only. Direct, 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 or direct current. How do you say that? Or pronounce that? I don't know. So you had a battery. Here you have a plus. Here you had a minus. So yes, of course. And the current went from here to here all the time with the same intensity. For example, 10 amperes. You had always 10 amperes. Okay. So that's the, the uh, direct current. But besides DC, direct current, we also have AC. AC is alternating current. That, uh, the founder of AC is Nikola Tesla. AC is an electrical current that changes its intensity in every moment and direction. So you have here a generator. Now, in one moment, uh, and you, here you have, okay, I conducted one moment, you will have here plus, okay? And so the current is gonna go in this direction. But in, a, in another moment, this side is gonna be plus. So the current is gonna flow in this direction. And there's always a change uh, in intensity, in one point it's gonna be zero. Uh, one one point you will have the maximum value, the and and effective value, and so on and so on. So throughout my next lectures, I'm gonna show you uh, how uh, AC is made and. Uh, what can we do with AC and so on and so it's more efficient we, we use AC today AC uh, is much better than DC and you know in my next lectures I'm gonna show you how AC is made so thank you for watching and see you in my next lecture